Hey guys, in the fast lane here. In this video, we're gonna be replacing a rusted out brake line. One of the first steps is, is we got some 316 brake line right here, and he's getting ready to flare it out with this flaring tool that you can get at AutoZone or any kind of automotive parts store. So you just slide it in this vise, clamp it down, and then he's going to tighten the top part and it'll give a nice little flare on it. A lot of these cars up north, they get all rusted out from the salt and stuff on the road or the snow. And we took a chunk out of it about this big and cut it here where it was good with the uh, pipe cutter and cut it off here so we're going to put a new piece in. So we're going to use a flare union and he didn't flare the other side and as you can yeah, see going to be flare too. he put it on that way if you're looking that's the proper way you want to put it on towards the flare so now he's going to get the other one put on in the bottom and then we're going to finally flare the end you don't want to flare both ends or you won't be able to get the unions on okay so those two pieces weren't the unions but this is the part that joins them together this this would be called the union right here yeah. so now he's putting it on to the tip right here And if you notice, you can move your hand real quick, you can see how he put them on here. Because the other side's not flared yet, so you have to put this one facing that way and this one facing the flare that you first put on. It acts as a stopper. So now he's getting ready to flare this, the bottom, the second one, so it'll lock those two threads and unions in. So he just slides it up to the 3 16 tightens it up and then he'll be putting the flaring tool on there so just tighten that down until it pretty much stops and once it stops then that created the flare this one's gonna be a little more trickier but it's pretty much the same concept as the last one we just did but except it's on the vehicle so he's gonna clean out the tip a little bit so first step is is put your thread on there and this is the right way to do it. You can see how the thread is actually facing where it's going to be flared. The next step is put your flaring tool on there. Make sure it's flush. You can see where he just put his thumb. Make sure it didn't come past. And tighten it down. And then you're going to put the flaring tool on there. Now on goes the flaring tool. And you just tighten it down until it bottoms out. And that's pretty much done. Then you pull the thread out and put the union on. And then it's off to the next one. All right, so he's getting ready to join the union to the other thread that he created. There you go. And that's it. Now all we do is go to the other side, and we're just going to put another thread on there. Same thing on the other side. and yep. Here's the other side right here. And we're just going to do the same thing we did to that side. Same thing to, this, to that and side. And just join and it. And it will be done. So on this one, I hold a wrench right here and he'll tighten until they go all the way in and this one goes all the way in and then that'll seal it off pretty much all you do now is uh, just crack this bleeder valve right here it's dripping it's on the back it uh, looks like an eight millimeter just back it up and uh, just let it drip down in the pan do that to that one and the other one and up front I'll show you here in a second on the reservoir now I just filled it up with some dot three brake fluid and you put it right in this reservoir right here and fill it to the top and then crack all of them and they're gonna gravity bleed right now so we got it on the lift I'll just let it drain out you can get a pan or whatever uh, a lot of people do it e either gravity or they get a pump and hook a little vacuum line up to there and pump it out but uh, gravity works just as good 